previously on Love Triangle. No, I am not okay. That could have been me. I never knew he was like this. Just when I thought things were looking up, things are right back where we left off. I can't seem to get a break. The record, this vacation sucked. If you can say that again. I'm not sure if you know or not, but I think Angela and Lorenzo Lo has been creeping. Yeah, see, I had a feeling when I stepped out on him with Johnny, which by the way, I am so sorry. Girl. Well, every mama with you has been nothing but bad times, okay? I'm getting my stuff and going to my mom's for a while. Are you serious right now? Yes! yes. This is constantly happening and I don't have time for it. Don't call me while I'm gone either. I don't even want to hear from you right now. Back home. You gotta be shitting me! And now, episode nine, part one. Sarah and Lorenzo go back to the house and she confronts him about Angela. Oh, this is the worst few months I've ever had. I swear I need a drink or something. She goes to the kitchen and pulls out a bottle. Look, you don't need to be drinking while you're pregnant. It's just a little wine, Lorenzo. Chill out. Lorenzo whispers. Yeah, got the baby not mine, no way. What did you just say? Nothing, man. No, no. I heard you mumble something. What did you just say? Hey, look. Don't start with me. Now don't get on my ass right now, okay? Because you about the last person in the world that's gonna smite the ass right now. So just back off. Uh, you wanna talk? I got a bone to pick with you anyway. Hey, pick away, cause I can pick right back. You and Angela, start talking. Hell, you and Johnny, start talking. I told you what happened between us and I left it alone, so why bring it up again? Uh, yeah, you told me this story, but you left out a few pages, didn't you? What the hell are you talking about? Man, I know this baby ain't mine. Lorenzo, I can... Can what? Explain? Oh, I'm sick of the explanation. Well, I'm sick of you lying about what you and Angela had going on. Me and that girl don't mess around one time. I ain't get nobody pregnant, though. That's what you failed at. Where I failed at? You couldn't keep your little wee-wee in your pants for five minutes and ended up screwing my best friend? Well, if he wasn't on my ass like you normally is, then I wouldn't even been driven to do none of this. Lorenzo, that is no excuse. I told you I messed up and I thought we got past that. I wasn't expecting you to get revenge. I actually had a feeling something was up, because you have definitely been acting different towards me. Look, I don't even feel like arguing, okay? We just had a shitty vacation, our girl just died, my wife is pregnant by a damn maniac. Sarah mumbles. My son is not yours. And I still got to deal with... Wait, what you just say? Huh? Oh, no. I heard what you just said. Don't play with me. What you mean? Baby, calm down. I've been wanting to tell you about this. No. You know what, Sarah? I done had enough of this shit. You care of that maniac, baby? Oh, I can deal with that, because I know you're going to jail soon. But you have me think that our son is mine all this damn time? Oh, that's the bottom line for me. I'm gone. Lorenzo heads for the door. Lorenzo, wait. Lorenzo, come back. Lorenzo drives off. 
back at Alex and Jasmine's. I just can't shake the feeling that he's out there right now, loose on the streets. He could be anywhere right now. Just relax. You know I won't let anything bad happen to you. I know you won't. I'm just having a hard time dealing with Monique being gone. I was so mean to her and all along, Johnny was the piece of shit behind everything. Pulling strings and setting us all up. Let's just let the cops do what they need to do. Alex, you know like I do that cops don't move fast enough until it's too late. Just like Monique. All that could have been avoided if his ass wasn't on bail. Yeah, that's true. That's not protecting or serving anybody. I don't even know if that girl has a family. And that poor baby's gonna have to go to an orphanage or foster care just because you know he's not gonna be able to take care of the child being a wanted man. Alex, we can't let that happen. The chief of police calls Jasmine's phone. Hello. Is this Jasmine speaking? Yes, it is. This is the chief of police. I want to speak to you for a brief moment, if you don't mind. Who is it? It's the chief. Okay, yes. What do you want to talk about? The chief lets her know about the video evidence she sent in and how they don't know the whereabouts of Johnny. Jasmine, I got my men looking all over for him in the streets. We are going to put him in custody. Don't you worry about that. He will be behind bars. Plus, I appreciate the evidence that you gave me earlier. Thank you. He needs to be locked up forever for what he has done and has been doing. Jasmine, 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 calm down. Look, I promise you, we are going to get him. Don't worry, we are going to get him. Okay? The phone hangs up. So, what happened? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's what happened. What? How do they not know? I'm so sick of them. They don't seem to be in a hurry because it's not them that he's after. It's me and you. And that's what I'm... Jasmine's phone goes off again. Hello? Hey, Jazz. Jasmine covers the phone and whispers to Alex that it's Johnny. Give me the phone. Shh. No. Johnny, you shouldn't be calling me now. You're in so much hot water right now. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to call and hear your voice one last time before I left. Left for where? Jasmine downloads the location tracking app on her phone and keeps Johnny talking until she gets a location. I don't know. I'm definitely not going to tell you. It's obvious that you don't want anything to do with me anymore. I have this mental condition that if I don't get my weight, then I get engulfed with rage and I just lash out. I just wanted to apologize for everything I've done. But I just wanted to let you know that I still love you. Johnny, you need to give yourself up to the police. You're only making it harder on yourself. The entire state knows about what you did. Mental condition or not, you should have checked yourself into a hospital. You weren't too crazy to come up with this entire plan to put us all at each other's throats for these months. That's just a weak man's excuse, Johnny. And I have no room for a weak ass man in my life. So you don't even feel any kind of love for me anymore? None at all? What I feel for you right now is rage, revenge, mercy. I have no love for you right now or ever. As far as I'm concerned, you can sit in prison for the rest of your life and think about what you've done until it hurts you to go to sleep at night. Jasmine gets a location and shows Alex. She sends the location to the chief. Goodbye, Johnny. Jasmine hangs up and blocks him. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. What's that? Deleted Papa John's out my phone. That's my girl. Now, you show me his location. Am I assuming correctly that you want to go handle this ourselves? Yes. I want my revenge, Alex. I want my revenge. Alex and Jasmine head out the door to the car. Oh, wait. I forgot something in the house. I'll be right back. Alex goes to his safe and grabs his pistol. He comes back to the car. Alex? What's up, baby? You do realize that if we go through with this, then we could possibly face jail time. Alex cocks the gun and puts it on the floor. Jazz, when I married you, I said I would be there for you through better 
and for worse. Now this man has put us through the roughest part of us being together and he almost succeeded in his mission. But this little love triangle is coming to an end. I would ride with you to the ends of time, baby. And I mean that. Well, what are we doing sitting here? Let's ride. Where's the location said to be at? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Where is it? His house. 